Hi everybody, welcome to another 10 minute tip with me, Michael Hoffman from the OSINT Curious Project. I'm going to show you today a skill that is kind of core to how we do things in cyber and, and even in OSINT and in, in OSINT investigations, but it's, it's not doing an investigation. It's not pulling data. It's how do we actually download tools from websites and use them? And I know this is a little bit meta, but I think understanding how we can do that will make us more effective because we'll be able to update our tools quicker and save ourselves time in the long run. For this project, what I want to do is use a tool that I control because I'm going to change it and show you how uh, we can we can update really efficiently. The place where we go to get some of the tools for OSINT are on is on github.com and then we have the repository owner web breacher and then the repository name untapped scraper this is a python tool that i made to grab information from untapped.com which is a website for beer drinkers or beer loggers i should say <laughs> get it logger okay yeah jokes don't get any better folks anyway so let's say that you found this and you're like, wow, I really want to download this tool, but I have no idea what to do. Many people's first uh, first idea would be go to clone or download, click download. Oh, download a zip file. I know what a zip file is. What I want to do is I want to show you how to use Git, G-I-T, to download this content and synchronize it or keep it in sync with this repository on the Internet. To do that, we're going to uh, copy this url right here this url is to github.com web breacher and there's the repository and then it has the dot git on the end we can do this and use this from the command line now i've got an ubuntu subsystem running here the ubuntu uh, linux subsystem for windows and i've installed git you also can install git from the uh for inside of windows there's there's binaries for it as well but I'm going to show you from the Linux subsystem for Windows. Now, if I just type, well, if I just type git, it tells me all the different confusing commands that I can use in switches and flags. I'm going to focus on just two of these commands, git clone and git pull. All right, let's see how this works out. So I've got in the computer's memory, I've got the URL that I need. I'm in the directory where I want to put my files. I'm in my tools directory. So I'm going to type git clone and then paste in that URL. My system, since it has git installed, is going to go ahead, reach out to GitHub and say, hey, does Micah have access to this repository? If so, I want those files. And it downloads them. So now when I do an ls, I see untapped scraper is on my system. And if I cd into there or change directory into there and looked at, I have the same files here that are on the website. License, readme, example. License, readme, example. All right. So what I've done in one command, git clone, is download the files from the GitHub website. Now what I need to do is install them. Let's see how we can do that. Now, many times on this main page, this main page is actually the README page, and it says so right there. It, they, the tool owners will tell you, hey, this is, script is written in Python version 3. Here are the modules. And all you have to do is type this command from inside the directory. I'm going to copy that and paste it. And let's see if it works. Now, pip is the Python module installer. Your system, if you do have Python on it or Ruby or in any other languages, has a certain number of modules and libraries that it knows about. If the developer of a tool wants to add additional ones because they have extra functionality or something, then you need to download those modules for your local repositories. So here I've used the command pip3 for the Python version 3, so pip3 install minus r requirements.txt. What is that? Well, what it does is it looks in this requirements.txt file at these different five modules. This is all. I need to go out to the internet and grab them. It knows where to do that. It'll install it. And many times it just works. 
From here, we've installed all the modules that the, the tool requires to run. So let's try to do Python 3, untapped, and we're going to do a dash H. Dash H many times will give us a help screen, and sure enough, in this case, it does. Dash H gives us help, dash U user. So let's go back over here. Let's go to untapped where we are going to find a user. Now, this is all live. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to pull up a brewery and let's just check out somebody's drinking behaviors. Justin W. Just, oh, Justin W again. Nice. Here's Steve P. Let's just see. What I'm really interested in is this username here and quench my thirst has over 10,000 beers that they have logged on the site nice we're gonna take a look at that beer drinking activity here python 3 dot slash untapped you paste in that and now the tool runs and does whatever it is that you wanted it to do this is terrific if we scroll up now I'm not going to go through all this because the point of this is how to download an update not necessarily rerunning of this tool but here we've gotten information about how many beers he he had he has logged who he logs it with or who he drinks with when he's drinking or she all of that data is there so the tool works now let's say that the tool updater whoever made this untap scraper goes ahead and makes a change. Well, in fact, I just did that while I was talking. I made a change to the, the tool and you can download those, those changes. Now, normally what you might want to, what you might do is come back out here to the site, visit the web page, refresh the web page, see that up, oh, you know, there's another commit 33 minutes ago. And, you know, you'd have to download the whole project again, right? You'd have to go here, downloads it. No. With git clone and git commands, we can just type git pull. And what that will do is reach out to the website to github.com slash web preacher untapped scraper. And it will look and compare what you have versus what they have and say, oh, hey, you know what? This readme.readme.md file changed. There were some additions and some deletions. Now my current version of that file and of the project is up to date. If I had added functionality to the tool or done other things, my system now would be in sync with what's out there on the internet. And all I had to do, git pull. All those libraries and other things are already installed, so I can rerun the tool if I want. Let's just pick another user, rerun the tool. Everything works just fine. So that is using git. Git clone to retrieve the content, get pull to re to update your directory all right cool and we also covered pip which is the python module install well that's all the time i got right now let's go ahead and end this video i'm michael hoffman and stay osin curious